How's it going, everyone? This is WFS, your doctor. And today, I want to talk to you about Picard Season 3. And it's time for an update. Once again, how are you, everyone? WFS here, your doctor. And today, I want to talk about, as I said before, Picard Season 3. And the update is coming maybe about... I think about three or four days ago, that uh, Terry Matliff and uh, Alec Kurtman, God help us, are uh, promising a more theatrical Star Trek Picard than we have had in the past. In fact, the article I read recently just talked about how they are making it more all the all the Starship features and all the inside of the ship look more cinematic than television. They want to give the crew a real good center from the next generation because they really feel like they haven't done this before. The one thing that the article here does talk about is that the Enterprise E, or the Enterprise itself, will be in it, but it won't be the feature ship that they're going to be on. In the article that I just pointed to, they weren't even specifying what ship, although many are speculating that it's Riker's USS Titan. Then the article goes on to talk about, well, maybe we know it's not the USS Cerritos. Of course it's not the USS Cerritos. It's, that's a cartoon ship right there. Um, they talk about how um, they're not going to mess with the timeline. All the characters from the novels and from the next generation will all they will be a, their characters will have evolved over the years but they the timeline hasn't changed from them the only one that has changed of course is the only issue that i have with this show is picard because again he's dead and now a clone is taking his place but as for the show itself again they want to give everyone from the next generation a nice send off because they don't think they got a decent one at the end of Nemesis and to tell you the truth after looking back at the show or the movie it really wasn't that big of a send off you got to see Riker and Picard shake hands well where are you off to Will we're off to do uh, go negotiate peace with the Romulans uh, beyond that none of the other characters said goodbye so that's going to be an interesting thing to see how that plays out. The article goes on to talk about who may or may not be in there. They did say that all the cast is going to be in there, but it hinted that there may or may not be Data. And once again, if Data is in there, we're messing with the timeline. Unless, of course, we're doing our flashbacks. Brent Spiner's got to be in there somewhere, but all I'm praying is that we just do not do any more Dr. Soon stories here. I mean, we've gone as far as we can with that character and his family. I just hope that that's the end of that. There will be no Wesley Crusher. Uh, let's see. Um, it's really not much more I can talk about this, except for the fact that, again, on the article here, they want to bring you into it by promoting the Enterprise. Now, the one thing I did learn is that they have a new constellation class. A, I believe they call it a Nubian constellation class enterprise. Now, that could be the ship that they're talking about. But at the same time, I also heard that they were talking about maybe some holodeck simulations of the Enterprise D, which would make no sense because the last ship that they were on together was the E. I'm... I'm not sure where I am on this. I re I'm really not, because, as I said before, this show has had many problems. And for them to throw the next generation into it as a nice way of saying goodbye, and Kurtzman saying, well, we've always wanted to bring the cast back together for a nice send-off, but that's not what Patrick Stewart said at the beginning of this. He didn't want to revisit old characters and old, and old plot stories. So, I honestly think that they're bringing everyone back as a last desperate attempt 
to try and salvage the franchise, at least the next generation part of it. I saw a YouTube video a couple of days ago that pretty much claimed that Kurtzman was on his la at his last ends with Paramount there. And that if he can't make this thing hit, then he's pr probably out the door at Paramount. I don't wish anyone any bad luck with their jobs. I don't want anyone fired. But when you mess with something as great as Star Trek, this thing, I pray to God I'm wrong, but this thing may be dead and buried. And this may be their last-ditch attempt to get everyone back. Well, I'm going to end the video. But I really would like to know your thoughts on Picard Season 3. What do you think of the ships? Um, the cast, and where do you think the show is going to go? Well, live long and prosper, my friends, and God bless.